Now, we've got 85 guests and each table holds 10 people. So how many tables are we going to need? Enough. Yeah, I know enough, but how many is enough? Enough for 85 people. Let's start again. We've got to divide the number of guests, which is 85, mm -hmm. by the number of people to a table, which is 10. So that's 85 divided by 10. Um, that's 8 and 5 tenths. 8 and 5... T eight and 5 tenths? That's 8 and a half. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, just a minute. We can't put half a person on a table. Why not? Well, we'd have to cut them up. Well, that's OK. You could put the top half on the top table, the bottom half on the bottom table... Mind you, hang on. The bottom half would find it very difficult to eat the dinner. Hmm. Unless we split them down the middle, then they'd have an arm on either side. That wouldn't work either. Why? If they stand up to toast the bride, they might fall over. Hmm. Mm. There's another problem. What? We haven't got half a chair. That's no problem. Hang on. <sighs> Here we go. You can't go around cutting up chairs willy-nilly. Besides, you'd have to do the same to the people. And how are you going to do that? I stand by the door and grab them as they come in. No, you won't. We'll have to do the maths again. Now, 85 divided by 10. It's, um, 850. Hang on. Have they invited more people? Just a minute. You've multiplied instead of dividing. Silly me, I was starting to panic then. No, 85 divided by 10 is 8 and 5 left over. Oh, so that means 8 tables and 5 outside to get the leftovers? Yeah, no. We'll have to use 9 tables. 9 tables? One table for 5 guests? That's the only way we can do it. Oh. <laughs> Clever me. There is a bit of a problem. What? Now we've only got 84 chairs. <laughs> So let's work out the table plan for 85 guests. If each table seats 10 guests, they'll need nine tables altogether. Eight tables with 10 guests at each one, and one table with five guests.